Hi guys. Um, it is now time to move on to properties of logs. Properties of logs need to go on a note card. So I will tell you what slide is the note card slide. And guys, once again, you don't have to make your note cards. We're not in class, but you're going to need them for pre-cal next year. So why, why not, right? You'll already just have it done. So, and by the way, while I said that, y'all don't throw away the note cards you made this year. Hold on to them, okay? Um, I keep trying to not cover up the microphone. I keep catching myself doing that. I'm sorry. So, properties of logs. Property number one says log base B of 1 equals 0. So, any time that we take the log of 1, no matter what the base is, the answer is going to be 0. And this is going to be why. If what we just learned yesterday is that we can convert these, right? So, what is the base of the log problem that I just put up on the screen? 13, right? Okay. 13. If this problem already equals 0, that means it can't equal 0. So, what's the only place for 0 to go? In the power, right? And that means it has to equal 1. Now, you can put this in your calculator check, or you can go back to Algebra 1 and remember um, some of the exponent rules that were taught to you by your Algebra 1 teacher. But anything raised to the 0 power is 1. No matter what it is, no matter what number, it's always 1. That's just an exponent rule. I mean, your calculators will confirm that. I'm not going to dive into why it equals 1. There's videos on it. You can YouTube it if you want, but um, because you should have already learned it. But in case you forgot it, here it is. If you want to know why, um, go YouTube it. If I try to explain it, this video will be like 45 minutes long and it won't even cover the concepts we're supposed to cover. So that's why it equals 0. So anytime you take the log of 1, it equals 0, no matter what the base is. Our second property, when our base and what we're taking the log of match, it equals 1. So for example, log base 4, 4 equals 1. The base and what we're taking the log of match. What is the base of the log problem? 4. Okay. The 4, okay, so log base 4, 4 equals 1. It already equals 1, right? That means it can't equal 1 this time. So what's the only place for 1 to go? Next to the 4. What's the only number left over? 4. 4 raised to the first power, does that equal 4? Yes, it does. And that's just why it works. Um, guys, you don't have to be able to show what works, but you just need to know that it's great if you do know how to show how it works. Um, that you understand that you understand what works is what I really would love, but I need you to know how to apply them in situations. Uh, log base b of b to the x. So this time. We're raising the basis b, and then we're taking the log of b raised to a to a value. So, for example, log base two of two x equals x. What is the base of this problem? Two. What does this equation already equal? X. That means it cannot equal x. The only place for x to go now is in the exponent. So, what are we taking the log of? 2x. Remember the base to the power equals whatever we're taking the log of, equals whatever we're taking the log of. And does 2x equal 2x? Yes, it's the same thing on both sides of the equal sign, right? And that's what equals means. Um, this is the last one. So we have an exponential function here with a base b, but the power has a logarithmic function in it, logarithmic function in it, and its base is b. So what this is saying is when you have an exponential raised to a logarithmic and those two bases are the same, that it's going to equal what you're taking the log of. So 10 raised to log 10 of x equals x. So um, we haven't really converted going backwards, but what is the base of your exponential function? 10, there's our base right there, right? Okay. This equation already equals x. That means it can't equal x on the other side. So we're going to have to put our x right here. Now the only other thing is our exponent. So log of x. Now we understand that this base right here that's not written, what is it? 10. 
So once again, we have the same thing on both sides of the equal sign, so it must be true. Those are your four properties of logarithms. These logarithms right here with this title need to be written down on your note card. Um, remember, these are examples. They're illegal for note cards. So if you want to use your note cards next year in pre-cal, don't add illegal stuff to them. Of course, if you're at home, there's nothing I can do about it. But if you want to use it for next year, don't, don't put them on there. And that concludes this lesson.